guys, it's Christine from Hollis Hands Create. Hope everybody is well. Today is Saturday, December 21st. I uh, just wanted to pop in for a quick video uh, before we get into this next week and then the holiday and then the new year and everything. Uh, time just seems to fly right by and everybody's super busy. So it's been um, about two and a half weeks, so I thought I would just do a, a quick update and um, so here it is. Uh, things have been kind of busy around here. My oldest daughter, Brittany, uh, flew in. She lives in, in Milan, Italy. And uh, so she flew in to JFK on Monday and spent the night there and then flew on into Dallas um, on Tuesday. So I've had her home. She's been a little jet lagged, but she's doing pretty good. Um, we spent the day yesterday hitting her favorite store, um, TJ Maxx Home Goods and does, did some marathon shopping and Costco and grocery store and, and things like that. So she's been helping me um, get ready for the holiday. On uh, Monday, my uh, second, my middle child, my second daughter, Savannah, will be uh, flying in from Seattle. And um, so she lives out there, works uh, for NHL Seattle, the, the new expansion hockey team. Uh, she's the social media a coordinator specialist, I think, something like that. Um, she's helping to build the team. They don't actually have the team on the ice yet. Uh, that won't happen for another year or two. But uh, anyway, so she's flying in on Monday night. And then my my baby, my son, Adam, um, actually won't be here until Christmas Day. Um, he works in the restaurant industry um, at college up at Missouri State. And um, he, I think, kind of volunteered to pull as many shifts as he could before he um, came home for the holiday. So he's going to get up and leave about 5 in the morning on uh, Christmas Day, and it's about six and a half hour drive, so he'll be here around dinner, dinner time, and I think that's kind of really what he cares about is uh, dinner. So anyway, things have been kind of crazy. Um, tomorrow we're having our uh, marathon baking day. Um, though I may actually, after this video, kind of see if I can't throw maybe a, a couple of batches of some fudge or some things like that together this afternoon. And uh, uh, Brittany and I are going to finish up, hopefully, everything tomorrow. Um, with my kids, um, since they all are so everywhere <laughs> across the, the world, um, I started a couple years ago, instead of trying to guess what they wanted, I do a group or we have a family text that, that you know we conversation or chat that, that goes on all the time and so what I did uh, a couple years ago is I would send out um, a text to the family and say okay here is your opportunity to ask for that thing that you want me to make bake you know whatever for Christmas and um, you have 24 hours to get your requests in and so this year, I think we ended up with a list of about eight items. And the reason I do that is, is it just makes it so much easier than having to, um, you know, throw out things. Because if I make something that you know, maybe they decide they don't want or their eating tastes have changed since they've left home a little bit. Um, except for my son, I, I still can figure out what he wants pretty easily. Um, I'm not throwing things out. They're getting that one thing that they're really looking forward to, and um, it seems to work out pretty well. So tomorrow we, we hit the list and see if we can't knock most of the things out. Um, there might be one or two things that we hold off on until, until Monday or Tuesday, but for the most part we'll do it tomorrow. So um, anyway, I wanted to also, um, I've got some thank yous. Um, all of the lovely comments, all the response back to my question about uh, having a vintage finds section in, in my shop, um, everybody who responded, who said kind things, I really appreciate it. Um, if you've subscribed to my channel, um, that just, it's so nice when you see, you know, you've got a new subscriber, especially when you're a newbie like I am. So I really appreciate all of the, the lovely feedback. Um, if you've checked, which I think some of you have, because I've sold quite a few things already, there is a vintage find section now in the shop. Um, I've been kind of slow about getting um, things listed in there, and I'll get better about it um, after we get past Christmas Day, um, about trying to get some things, you know, into the shop. Um, I've gotten a few things in. 
um, the quilted stockings I actually listed late one night uh, and I think I finished listing them about 1115 and I will tell you that by 1130 all 20 of them were sold I was floored um, did not expect that at all so um, thank you to those who who uh, jumped right in and, and snatched those up and I hope you actually enjoy them um, I also have some shout outs that um, happened for my channel um, that I'm just absolutely so appreciative of. Uh, Crafty Cat Stitcher, um, she's a, a really a sweetheart. She she gave me a shout out on her um, floss tube. Lisa, uh, Kindred Stitcher, um, I watch her very faithfully. So when I watched her last video and heard her call out my channel, I was like floored and so um, just so happy and I really appreciate it. Um, I love her stuff. I actually have, she mentioned that I had bought some of her bags and she is right. I have, uh, I think I've bought three or four of them. They are fantastic. So if you get a chance to buy one of her bags, do so. And then my good friend, Kristen uh, from Blue Bonnets and Whiskey, um, she and I are buds. Um, she doesn't live too far away from me. And uh, so we've kind of hit the craft shows together and we're going to be doing uh, one of the retreats of the, the North Texas Stitchers retreat in April. Um, staying together and um, anyway she's just a really sweet lady and she's got a great channel she just put up her third floss tube I think a couple of days ago so go and, and check her out as well um, she's a perfectionist stitcher um, she she but she uh, she does really beautiful work and um, so go check her out as well and I just thank you so much to those mentions that you guys have given to me so real quickly I'm gonna jump into the finishes that I have I showed um, a few of them that were, I guess, FOs last time, and now they are FFOs. Um, one of them being, let's see, the first one being the Primitive Merry Christmas Pillow by Abby Rose Designs. I had just had it stitched last time, and then now it's finished. This is the first time I've actually done that where I've cut the hole into the back um, and then just covered it. And I just used some felted wool, cut it into a kind of a holly leaf shape and put it on. And I really liked it. It's so much easier to actually stuff. Now I just used um, warm and natural stuffing uh, for the inside. I, I thought about doing walnut shells, but I really want this to kind of stand up really taut. And I didn't, I wasn't sure if I actually had enough walnut shells available in my stash to actually uh, you know give it that real stand up that I that I kind of wanted so anyway again some nice holly I think it's just some uh, I forget what the name of it it's a moda moda fabric but I forget exactly what the design was anyway just pulled it out of my stash so there's that one and then I had mentioned to you that I was going to do I think I had like cocoa and some Christmas cookies and a couple others um, that I wanted to kind of stitch on well, I did get Christmas cookies finished and um, I did change the colors just a little bit like I had mentioned. Um, I believe that this I switched to ribbon red. Uh, the same thing with the, the Christmas and the cookies. I switched to, to ribbon red. I just wanted it to be um, a little more bright. Um, so, and then um, I'm a collector of 50s and 60s. Um, Christmas figurines, Santas and girls, uh, shopper ladies, they called them, uh, left in napco, things like that. So whenever last year this particular fabric line came out, I was thrilled because that's the exact um, style that I, that I collect. So anyway, so this one just hangs in the kitchen. I had already had peppermint done, which I showed you last time. Now I've got Christmas cookies. I need to jump onto cocoa. It probably won't happen until next year though. And so I just have them hanging up in the in the kitchen on the rack. So anyway, I really like that one. And the one I just finished up is, this last one is Frosty. Frosty's Night Out from Blackbird Designs. Just absolutely love this. And I stitched him up on 40 count dapple from Picture This Plus linen and I was gonna mount him on like a little red 
uh, felted board and then attach that um, to this hat. And then I, the more I got to looking at it, the more I didn't like that idea. So kind of back up here a little bit so you can kind of see. So basically what I did was I just took some sulky thread that I had in an evergreen color and um, you can reach right up inside this hat and I got this hat for five bucks at Walmart. Um, I think I said in my first video that Walmart really stepped up their game this year for their holiday decor decorations. And I just absolutely love this. So just a really neat little, little hat. And um, since I was able to reach right up into it, I just was able to, to stitch him right on there. And I just think he looks so cute. So I absolutely love this. Um, uh, you know what I, I will say, I did change the colors a little bit, um, just in the scarf. Um, what they were calling for, I believe, was Aztec Red uh, by Weeks, which is a little more of a pinky color. And I really wanted it more, um, more you know, again, traditional type Christmas colors. And same thing with the, the greens, that was actually... I believe it was more like an aqua, like a deep aqua color um, or teal. And so I switched it back to Hunter, uh, Weeks Hunter. And I believe the red I used was um, either Turkish red or Louisiana hot sauce, can't remember. They're almost identical. So anyway, I, I kind of switched that those colors back up a little bit. So there's my three FFOs. So they're now joining the what's what's hanging around the house um, for uh, the Christmas season. So the next thing I want to um, pop over to, oh, you know, I also did want to say uh, Frosty makes finish number 25 for the year. So I was really happy. I went through my journal, kind of, I always um, in December rewrite in my journal all of my outstanding whips and tally up my finishes and and um so i had 25 finishes for this year um hoping i'll show you here in a minute hoping i might eke out one more um depends upon how things go when the kids get here and whatever if i have any stitching time but um one of the <laughs> one, I'll, I'll talk about my whips here in just a minute in my journal but what's on my lap which may or may not get finished um right now is the Let It Snow banner from Stony Creek. Isn't that cute? I really like this. And I actually have the uh, wrought iron uh, bell pull holder banner holder, I'm gonna call it. It's like a wrought iron type thing. It's so man. So I had ordered it in as well. I actually have had this. I think I got this about three, four years ago. And um, where I am, and I'm not gonna pull it off of here because this thing is about three feet long. So, but if you can see, I am actually working on, I just finished up Let It and these trees, and now I'm ready to do snow at the bottom. All of the top part is finished, so I have snow, and I have this bottom uh, motif with the snowman and sled to finish. So that's what it's looking like right now. At the end, um, I'll go back. These are the holes are left here for snowflakes and those are done with like a DMC pearl cotton so that they're kind of fluffier looking. And so I'll go in and, and add those in at the, at the very end. So but this is what I'm, what I'm working on right now. Um, and it may or may not get finished. We'll just have to see see how it goes. I worked on it till about 1.30 this morning um, because it finally actually had some quiet time to sit and, and stitch and uh, I kind of enjoyed that. It, it was really nice. So the only other thing that's going to probably um, maybe interfere with getting Let It Snow finished is I do have a Christmas Day start planned. I'll show you that here real quick. But I wanted to show you my beautiful bag that I got from Lisa, the Kindred Stitcher. Look at that little, the little pull. The little, it's so cute. Zipper pull. It's like an ornament. The light bulb. Not an ornament. A light bulb. But anyway, I love this. Love this fabric. And I will show you. So, I didn't purchase Christmas Garden when it came out as an individual leaflet. But, 
um, when it came out in Home for the Holidays, I book. I actually picked it up because I want to do Christmas garden. I love, love, love this. And this is another one I mentioned that I watch Lisa um, pretty religiously. And she just got this finished up. And she switched, she did a color conversion to silks. And I absolutely loved her conversion. So I kind of am going to copy her a bit. Um, not 100%, but I did pull out some silks, some Gloriana uh, silks. And this is what I'm going to be using. This is old gold, which she did use. And coffee bean. Now I threw, or she did thistle green as well. And then I'm also throwing in Avon Lee green. So I'm going to kind of mix up the greens just a little bit. So they're just going to be a little deeper. So the brown, you know, the coffee bean will be a deeper color rather than the real muted tones that, that are used. Not that it's not lovely, but these will just be a little bit deeper, a little more rich looking, I think, um, with these colors. So that's my Christmas Day start. And I, I, always, I write everything on my little card because I... I'm so bad about forgetting what kind of fabric it is that I got started on. And I'm going to be doing it on 32 count vintage buttercream, lakeside linens. Love their linens. So that's my Christmas Day start that I've got planned. That may also bump let it snow off my lap for more than just Christmas Day. But that's okay. So, in going back through my journal um, and counting up my whips in my whip box that sits next to my chair, um, and also Mania, this was the first year that I participated in Stitch Mania. Um, my pulling it out, I have, and now I'm including my Christmas garden start because that will end up being a whip for the tail end of 2019. Um, I have 21 regular whips and 19 from Stitch Mania. So I felt pretty good that I, I don't have a, you know, like 28 from Stitch Mania. Um, so that's a grand total of 40. Um, so for 2020, my plan is to kind of follow uh, my, the stitching days. I kind of, I do stitch a little bit like the Priscilla and Chelsea regimen where, you know, it's Santa Sunday, Merry Monday. Um, I, so I try to kind of pick a couple of those days and what I thought I would do is I listed out how many whips that I have that are seasonal by season. So I have 10 that are going to be kind of Christmas winter themed. So I think what I'm going to do is on those Sunday and Monday, I'm going to concentrate on those 10 and see, you know, how quickly I can get, you know, those knocked out. Now I'm going to be starting Christmas garden. So, you know, my goal really is just to get it done by say next you know, mid-November so I can have it framed. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Then I, you know, I, I figured out, okay, how many patriotic, you know, things do I have? Um, how many Halloween for Witchy Wednesday? So I'm not going to follow it 100% religiously, but I am going to use those days to work on my whips that are in that season and see if I can't, you know, get those knocked out um, because I know that I've got several new starts and kits and things that I've already got done that I would love to start, but 40 was just an awful lot. And I was like, wow, I can't, I'm just not going to add any more to that box. I need to knock some things out first before I add anything new. We'll see. Um, I tend to have Stitcher's ADD sometimes and, you know, somebody Instagram shows that new start and you're like, ah, you know, so got to do it, got to do it. Oh, it won't take me very long. I'll just insert it here. But you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot, right? We'll give it a shot. Um, and I do have a couple of things already thrown into my, my Stitch Mania box that I, that I, uh, as I see something I think would be good for Stitch Mania, I throw it in there. And then a couple of weeks prior to May 1st, 
I will then get into that box and weed through and figure out how many slots I have open. I'm not going to stitch a whole new 31. Um, that will just make me a nervous wreck if I'm approaching 70 whips. That I just can't do that. So anyway, um, one other thing that I, and this will kind of lead us right into haul um, and also shop news. Um, I mentioned that I collect um, little girls, uh, shopper girls from, uh, most of them are Nap Napco or Lefton and they're from the late 50s, early 1960s. So this is a new pattern that just came out at the distributors and when I was looking through, I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. So I definitely will be adding this one in 2020 to stitch because then she's gonna get framed and she's gonna sit with all of my uh, girls when I pull them out to display them um, next December. So I absolutely just love this. I, my, even my daughter took a look, she's like, mom, that looks just like your girls. I was like, yes, it does. So um, I will be stitching this. I have one of these in my stash now, but she's actually also available in the shop um, if you're interested in her. She's really cute. So since she's part of my haul, we'll just keep going. Uh, Country Sampler. Went onto their website, got this cute little Chessie and Me kit, Winter Woods. Love, love, love this. And it's little, so it's so it'll be good to go right into my into my bowl. So I thought that was really cute. And they had some of their things on sale, which was which was really nice. Um, and then Stacy Stacy Nash Primitives. Um, I really love this one too. It's the Country Sampler Toil and Trouble Pin Keep. And it's a complete kit. And they had it on sale. So that's, you know, you can't pass up a good sale. So got this one. And then that's it. I, that's all I got for stitching. But I did, um, I, I shop shabbyfabrics.com quite frequently. They have really cool, um, wool applique things in addition to all the quilting stuff. And I happen to see this runner. And it's Winter Manor by Moda, I believe. Yes, it's a Moda. Um, and everything's all laser cut for you, ready to go. And I absolutely love this fabric. So I saw that and I was like, well, I gotta get that. And while I was in there, I thought, you know what? That would make a really beautiful um, rag quilt or string quilt or, or something like that for next winter as well. So I went on and got the Winter Manor layer cake. And because you can't stop there because they were having a good sale and I wanted free shipping and things like that, I actually went in and uh, got a fat quarter pack as well. So, but look at those. Aren't they really nice? I really love this stuff. Really, really nice. So, anyway, that's a nice project that I'll have. Um, and I had my sewing machine finally uncovered for a bunch of other stuff, so I'll see if I can't get started, at least get the, the table runner done. And then, um, because I placed that order, they actually threw in um, this really cute, funny table runner. And you can see it says, our free gift to you. So I was like, oh, isn't that cute? So I thought that was really nice. That's the April one. So that was really nice. So that's it for haul. Not too much right now, you know, when it's Christmas time, not spending a whole lot of, of extra money um, on me and, and my hobby. It's, you know, um, this time of the year, you need to be thinking about others. So um, when I mentioned haul and then also being available in the shop um we'll just kind of jump real quick into a quick shop update i had um, a couple of people who commented and said we'd love to see you know new releases um so i haven't ordered a tremendous amount uh, right now for the shop other than i do know that the next um uh, country cottage needleworks um pattern is on its way. I got a shipping notice and I think that's number four that's on its way. Um, the snowy chalk full from Priscilla and Kathy, hands-on design. 
just hit my doorstep yesterday. So my auto ship people, I mailed theirs this morning to them. So hopefully they'll have them in time for Christmas or at least right after. Isn't it cute? There's only two designs in this one instead of three, but you can also pull out, you know, Priscilla's a, a queen of being able to to pull out components of designs and, and stitch up something else just really quickly. And then I thought this was really cute. So this, will, this is into the shop um, as well. So um, be sure to check, you know, for the vintage section, I am gonna, um, if we get some nice days, it's been really overcast here in North Texas and it's again today a real drizzly and and kind of blah gray day. So if we get a, a good sunny day where I can get some really nice pictures, um, I have a whole lot more to, to get listed and I'll see about you know getting those into the shop um, for you to take a look at, see what you, see what you might be able to find. Um, I'm going to be doing some grab bags and things like that of a lot of the fabric. So I'll try to get those listed in, in the next few days as well. Uh, probably, I shouldn't say next few days, next few weeks, because it will be after Christmas. Um, the other thing is, is I probably will close the shop just for a few days between Christmas and New Year's. Um, I really, I don't get to see my daughter who lives in Italy um, very much. It's been a year since we've seen her this time. And um, then my second daughter who lives in, you know, Seattle, Washington, and whenever they're home and I really want to spend some, you know, some nice quality time um, with them. And then I'll reopen um, right after New Year's Day. So just wanted to give everybody kind of a heads up about that. But if you're still shopping right now, um, I will still be getting all the orders out um, up to, you know, up to Tuesday, Christmas Eve. And um, probably again on the day after. We'll see and then I'll close the shop after that. So. Anyway, I really hope that everybody is um, going to have the opportunity to spend some great time with family and friends or just enjoy this time of year. And um, I hope that you'll um, come back and visit with me again and have a, a great um, holiday season. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.